So that's all for the typical application scenario. Now let's give the example to show how to do the link aggregation configuration. So these are the basic commands for link aggregation configuration. So first we need to create the Ethernet trunk. We can use this command to create the Ether trunk and with this trunk ID. And also we need to configure it as to working at certain mode. It can be either in the LACP mode or the manual load balance mode. Also, we need to add the interface to the Ether trunk. Typically, we need to add multiple interface into the trunk. To do this, we need to first enter the interface view. We can also add the interface to the Ether trunk in the Ether trunk view. So in the trunk view, we can use the trunk port to add one or more interface. Then we need to enable the interfaces at different rates to join the same Ether trunk interface. To do this, actually we need to use this mixed rate link enable command to do that. By default, interfaces at different rates are not allowed to join the same Ether trunk. Only by using this command, the link with different rate can be added. And finally, we can configure the LACP system priority. Still remember, the system priority is used to select the actor between two devices. Okay. And also, we can configure the interface priority. If we want one interface to have higher priority to be selected as active, then we can set a lower number to it. Okay. And also, we can configure the maximum number of active interface and the minimum number of active interface. Okay, so that's some basic configurations. Now we give a detailed example for how to do the user trunk configuration in manual mode. Okay, so this is an example. If we have two switches, in each switch, there are two interfaces, and these two interfaces should be aggregated into a user trunk. Then what we need to do at switch one is that first to create a trunk and then to add the two interface into this trunk and then to identify its type. So here the link type is trunk. Okay. And next one is to allow the corresponding VLAN to go through it. So in this trunk, actually, they allow VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 to go through it. So this is for switch 1's configuration. And for switch 2's configuration, it is exactly the same. That is on manual mode. And if we want to configure the Ether trunk in the LACP mode, the configuration will be like this. So still, there are two switches. And for each switch, they have three different interfaces. And the requirement is that we want both switch 1 and switch 2 are connected to virtual LAN 10 and 20. And these two switches are connected through three Ethernet links to provide link redundancy and enhance transmission reliability. And we need to configure the Ether trunk in the LACP mode between these two switches and manually adjust the priority to configure SW1 as the actor and set the maximum number of active interface to be two. The other link functions as the backup link. So to achieve this requirement, we need to do the configuration in switch one as follows. So first we need to create a trunk and then we set the mode to be the LACP. We set the maximum active number to be two and then the trunk interface. We add the interface into the trunk by using this command. We add all three interfaces into the trunk. And also we set the type of this trunk. So here, because they are uh, multiple VLANs are allowed to go, so we set the trunk's type as the trunk. Okay. And then we need to set the permission list. So the 
we allow million 10 and million 20. So this is in the permission list. And that's all for the chunk one configuration. Then we quit and give uh, and come back to switch one. For switch one, because we need to manually adjust the priority to configure the switch one as the actor. So we need to set the priority of switch one to a lower number. So for example, we set the priority to be 30,000. Similarly, we will do the configuration for switch two. All the commands are the same as the configuration for switch one, unless the last command. So we don't need to set a lower priority for switch two. So we don't need to set the device priority for, for the switch two. So that's all for the configuration. After the configuration for these two switches, the ESA trunk has been created and they can be work in the LACP mode.